I dared to go where no Rocket League player has ever returned. Solo queue 2v2. I decided to take the risk and go where no man has ever come out not tilted. And it turned out to be the funniest set of games I've played in a while. Where are you going, sir? <laughs> Also, just a quick heads up, I'll be doing a collab episode with Alexa on Channel 2 very soon. There's also a lot of new episodes and series coming out every week, so let me know what you guys want to see next over there. But now let's get right into the games. Hope you guys enjoy. Ah, yes. Time for some solo queue. I love me some solo queue. We got Tav on our team here against IC Mix. IC Mix and one Emil. Good chip around. Wanted to grab this boost off of uh, one Emil. Tav probably shouldn't have left this boost. I'm going to make sure I go around them here. Oh boy. Hopefully that my teammate goes back here. Oh. Oh boy. Okay. All right. Good start. I think he's trying to beat here. So I'm just going to wait for that. I got my boost stolen by my teammate, but that's okay. I can just stay close here with zero. Hop over one. And then back out. Probably hopefully grab a boost. My teammate did dive early. So I'm going to be alone for a little bit. Hope we can get in the way here. And it's internet. Yeah, that's a, it's been a, a good start to solo queue so far. This is uh, why I don't usually solo queue anymore. But it's only 40, 46 seconds in, so we got lots of time to... Okay, all right. We got lots of time to um, make something happen. It's a good bump. Great finish. Just, um, it seems like no one's on the same page in solo queue. It's all over the place. It really isn't a good gauge of skill or, or just overall, like, good... Um, practice like good uh, actions good good decision making that's a good control though oh, this is round one I should be back to mid here oh <laughs> oh my goodness oh this has been an entertaining start that's for sure my goodness that guy did was not clear for takeoff All right, it's fine. I get bumped, but I'm going to take the boost. Dude, what is going on? <laughs> it's been an awkward clear. He probably misses. Good try on the finish. Three round one. Try and bump this guy here. Can't quite get it. Tabs forward, though. This could be a little scary. There we go. Good fake. Oh, the fake. Oh, good try. Good try. Make sure to grab that boost. Yeah, he has to grab that for sure. It's round one. Good challenge for my teammate. Go here. What the? Oh, this guy needs to just calm down a little bit. <laughs> I'm going. Okay, that's fine. This needs to calm down. Less is more sometimes in this game. I will say that. That's a good double. What in the... I don't think he touches this. Yeah, that's good. I should be fine. I'm trying to bump this guy if I can. Tab does take the corner boost. Man, oh boy. And I'm dead. Good turn, good, good attempt there. It's fine, super overcommitted. Over the backboard. Oh, taps forward. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, that's not great for me. Oh. Oh, no. I'm leaving. Where are you going, sir? <laughs> what is going on? Man just drove past. <laughs> Man just drove past the ball. Yeah, faking. You're are, you're always faking. Should be hard off the wall. Grab the boost here. Fake fakes. Shoot. Let's go. Huge. <laughs> Alright, um, let's just see what do a normal kickoff here. 
He's gonna get beat. I'm gonna get behind him so he can go for the challenge. Oh. Oh boy. Okay, we're good. No, we're not good. That's fine. I can't really get a bump. Oh, okay, I'm just gonna leave. Alright, I'm back. Good, uh, good save from Mex there. I'm gonna go back here, see if my teammate goes up. Surely he goes up. There we go. Free ball. Let's see it. Let's see the mechs. Okay, I actually did not expect, it, expect him to turn there, but I, he was definitely beat the entire time, so I didn't really have to worry about it. But yeah, right here, Emil is definitely gonna get beat if, I, if he goes. A really good bump for my teammate. This has been an eventful game. Three to three. Alright, that's a good kick off to the corner too. If my teammate goes up for this after this mid boost, it should be good for us. Uh that yeah, pinch is gonna be okay. I'm gonna go for this. Oh my teammate uh went all the way back, so we should be able to save this. Emil's up for this. Oh, he's going for the, <laughs> he's going for the bump. I think not re not a really great position to go for a bump there. Maybe a pass back. Let's stay with this here. Close. Probably grab this this corner boost before anything bad happens. There we go. Huge. Maybe a redirect. I don't want to hit this off the corner right away. Because if I do, they're just going to uh, get a free clear. Because my teammate's not going to be ready for that. In threes, it would be just good to boom it. But in twos, not so much. Close. Almost got the, almost got the open net there. Grab this mid boost. My teammate should be getting boost. It's a good challenge. It's a good shot as well. Mech should have that. Hopefully Tav can get the, the corner and then and then turn in in a second. Not the greatest touch because they're going to have it for free. But I do get a free ball. And we do just shoot it. Okay, what a game. Uh, <laughs> interesting. Very interesting. Uh, hey, I love you too, man. Um, I would say the, the biggest thing is just trying to do too much. But he played decently. And that was a full GC3 lobby. So that makes a little more sense. I mean, I did queue for quite a long time. So no no hate to the guy, obviously. It was just very, very funny, some of the things that happened. I mean, I think that the biggest thing for GC3, at least for like right now, is that everyone has mechanics. Everyone has the ability to hit the ball. But sometimes you just don't need to. Like, I mean, to be fair, sometimes you need to. And, and we flash back to that moment where he just drives into mid. <laughs> it's pretty funny, to be honest. I haven't seen a play like that in a while, and it's uh, that's a good time. But back on the note of what I was talking about, I think less is more a lot of the times. Like, there are situations where just because you can't hit the ball, you don't need to. Um, sometimes not hitting the ball is more threatening uh, for the opponents. And sometimes, like, I know for a fact that when I'm playing on defense, and there are certain situations where the ball is really dangerous when the car is near it if a player hits the ball away i am happy like i am very happy that they hit the ball so sometimes like not doing anything is way more threatening even on defense like if you have the ball right here just smacking it like this it's not going to do anything because they're just going to have the ball for free but keeping close and forcing a player into the play is going to be much more valuable all right we got skills on our team against uh toji and austin they're partied up too um it's a little bit higher up of a mat uh a lobby here Oh, I tried to pinch that in the mid, but that's okay. Pop it up. Make them have to waste boost. And then hopefully skills should be on this. Take the boost here. Wait for his touch. Pop it forward. Should be skills here. He should beat him. And even if he doesn't, it's not dangerous at all. Pop it up forward. No, I hit it too high. Oops. Looks like Skills wants it, so I'm just going to leave him to it. Snipe it. Make Toji have to clear it again. Oh, I missed. That's my bad. But it should be Skills back here. I don't know if he's going to flip reset. He does pop it over high. Oh. Over one. Maybe a redirect. 
and we finish it. I mean, that was a uh, decent clear. I actually didn't expect that. Um, who was it? Toji was gonna be back so fast, and skills looked like he was going for the demo or something. So it worked out either way. The shit chip back in a mid. Awesome, might turn on it. It is clear to me. I'm totally okay with him going for this again. Should be alright. Should be skills here. Give me a clear. Ooh. Give me the boost. I don't think Toji has a lot of boost here, so he's probably going to have to clear it with a flick. Clear it across too. Let's see if uh, Austin goes on this right away. I'm going to probably force him to just make it clear. He actually does go for it. It's a good thing I jumped to make, at least force them into a play where they had to go early. To pop it up. Bump Toji off the ball. Should be a free collection off the backboard there for skills. He might get challenged immediately, which is why I'm watching for that. He's popping off the sidewall. It's a little dangerous. There we go. And once again, we're forcing Austin into a touch where he doesn't really want to make it into the corner because I'm going to take the boost. Ah, that's so bad. I just gave him gave the ball back. Hopefully I can read this again. There we go. Nice. So pop it forward. I don't really want to go for this again because I need to get the boost. And skills is there to make a pop. Ooh. I do get demoed. I actually thought he was... Oh, okay, good demo from skills though. It should be still okay. And they missed. We missed again. Okay, that's... I had to respect it, though. Try to bump Toji. This could be really bad for skills. Good save, but it's probably going to be in the net. Yeah. I need to make a play there. I need to make... I need to stay off the backboard or go for, like, some sort of 50-50, and I didn't go high enough. Let's see if I can go back left for him. I'm going to, like, play it normally, though. Then go to the back corner. Everyone cheats so aggressively now. And so it's, like, really... This can be awkward for him, actually. It's really um difficult if the kickoff goes poorly. Nice 50. To flick over to. Toji's going to be low here, so this should be good for us. Hop around him. Oh, he actually fakes. Okay, I don't know. I don't know this player's tendencies. I don't know this player at all. So, I, I gotta get used to what like he likes to do in defense and offense. It's over one. A little high just to make sure he doesn't go. And once again, I just need to figure out what he's gonna do on defense because I don't really know how he plays it. Uh, it looks like he kind of fake challenged a little bit and then kind of went for a, a last second turn. But my flick was strong enough that he couldn't get a read. That's going to be a really good 50-50 in the mid here. No way for his touch. I'm going to make him go. Bump him off. Wow, I did nothing to him. That's really cool. That's probably in our net still. Oh my god. I'm faking this. Please. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I had zero boost. Alright, so I'm kind of alone right now. It looks like skills might turn on this though. I went for the early chip instead of uh, off of the off of the half volley because in that situation, a lot of players are expecting me to wait for that boom. So I'm just gonna go early. Stay close here, hoping that he takes it. Nice, that's good. I told you we'll have that off the corner most most likely. Lots of time to work with. I like the control in mid and the follow up air dribble. Beautifully done. Good possession from skills there. There's so much space in mid. Like he doesn't need to make a pass there because I'm I'm sort of sort of supporting like pretty far back, and uh, instead we just kind of play off of. I'm gonna jump early just to make sure Austin has to do something. Um, but in that situation, like all I need to do is just posture for, um, like what clear they're gonna make if they do make a clear. That's a really good first touch. Good. Should just be in. Yeah, it's a it's a bit of a rushed uh, attempt at the net there, but obviously they're down quite a few goals, so they have to make something happen. I don't fully blame them on the the shot there, but I don't, I just don't think that there's not there's not much more they can be doing in the last few seconds there. 
Looks like we have a few seconds left on the pre-jump. Ooh. Yes, interesting, interesting game. I mean, I don't know this Toji guy. He seemed pretty good. His control was good. Like I said, a lot of players, they have the mechanical ability. Um, it is it is another story, though. When you're thinking about, like, actual decision-making, it takes thousands of hours, I feel like. And I'm, I'm not, obviously, perfect. I'm not saying I am. But it's such a different gameplay. It's like, such a different gameplay at every stage of the game at SSL. Because a lot of players, they... They're like, it's like this cycle of people are good at the game and do air dribbles. So you start to de defend the air dribbles, right? So you're going high on the air dribble. Then the high level SSLs, they realize, oh wait, people are defending air dribbles by going high on the ball. So what do I do? I fake it. So what happens? People start to realize everyone's faking air dribbles. Then what happens? Oh, everyone's faking air dribbles. So let's start to go low on the ball. Then everyone realizes that's happening. So they go for normal air dribbles again. And so now it becomes like a chess game, right? And it's like, okay, how often will one happen uh, on certain players? And also, how do I force the ball into a position where my teammate can get the ball for free? It's not all about, like, there's so many times where, like, a lot of people um, watching pro level, they'll see someone like Radisson, right? Um, I, I don't I don't like calling him Radisson. I don't understand that at all. I just think Radisson is his name. Anyway, but um, the way that... Radisson plays for his team is he's the baiter. He's the one who will look the poorest if they get scored on because he's the one who forces the ball over to Alpha Alpha 54 and Zen. But if if Alpha and Zen aren't back and Radisson's in a really bad position um like to deal with like a 2v1 or something, people say that he's the problem, but it's like it's not the case at all because a lot of the times he's the one who's trying to force for Zen and Alpha, and if, if Zen or Alpha overcommit um, first, then Radisson has too many things to cover. So that, that's, um, that's one example of how um, Rocket League is kind of mis misunderstood by a lot of people. That there are so many positions where a player has nothing but, you know, <laughs> prayer <laughs> to hope that the ball doesn't go in the net. At the end of the day, all you can do is just play for your game and uh, try to pos position around your teammates. Um, different teammates want to pass more, different players want to uh, shoot more, or certain players want to go for like more flashy mechanics. Um, it's all about understanding what they're going to do. Now a lot of the times I will say, oh that's open, oh it's close. He's going to miss this, which is totally fine. I'll pop this up over Emil's head, and what I'm hoping to do with that is force, oh my, force them into an awkward spot where they have to make a weird read like this. I'm going to force them into a spot. That should be my teammate. Double here. Close. It should be safe enough that we don't get scored on. Especially with that guy taking that long. I'm going to bump the guy in mid. Pop it up. I bumped my teammate by accident. Should be okay though. Did he get that boost? I really hope he did. It looks like he did. Because he definitely should have. I'm going to wait here. And I'm just going to shoot a bottom left. I think he was trying to fake for his teammate. Once again, like I said, that player wants to play more defensive. One Emil wants to play more defensive. Um, Dot here, whoever this is, is hoping that uh, the player on their team goes for the ball underneath them. Which, uh, without communication, is kind of impossible. I'm actually hoping my teammate goes for this. I'm going to try and go for the bump on the next guy. Great shot. Nice. That's exactly what I wanted. I wanted to force the player into net after spawning. Make them waste all their boost from the corner. And then uh, my teammate gets a free ball. Okay. I see him make that touch. Immediately I go for the back corner. That's when I know I can go for it. It's safe. There are certain moments in that play where if I go for the corner, it's a goal. But if I wait long enough and see what happens, then I can go for it. I'm going to go for a pinch here over a meal. I back off for mid boost. I'm going to just kind of float here. I kind of passed that right to him, but my teammate read it. He's really good. I'm going to grab this boost and then immediately bail. Hope that I get him here. I didn't get him, but I did force him into a weird spot with the ball. He did not get a flip. I'm going to pop that behind Emil here. Good challenge. I'm going to force the jump here. Both of them are up. Over one. It's going to be awkward off the backboard. He does get a touch, but it might still be... Oh, he got a good read, actually. That's a really good play. 
Hoping that he stays with this. Right, I'll stay with this on the backboard. Oh. It's decent 50, but I'm pretty low here. I'm going to try and bump the other guy so there's no passing lane. Ah, uh, it's tough. There's, yeah, once again, that's probably the situation where I could have probably been back instead of trying to go for the bump there. I tried to go for a pretty heavy 50 and it didn't work out. But there's too many things for my teammate to uh, to read there. Oh, boy. Okay, that actually works. Even though it's not a great situation. A fake. Stay with this here. That's both of them. Should be my teammate to beat here. The pinch is okay. I'll leave my teammate to get that boost in mid. Looks like Emil's going to make some sort of touch. I don't want to go for this yet. I'm going to let them panic. Let them throw it out. Waste all their boost. Pop it up. They both panic again off the wall. Should be a free shot. Close. I can't quite finish this without using all my boost. My teammate's waiting on the wall. It's a little scary. Um, because I don't have a lot of boost there, I can't make that pass. It's not going to happen. It's a good challenge. Once I see him make that touch, I can go for the uh, the challenge as well. Hopefully my teammate's there for a shot. He does shoot. It's a little weak, though. Once again, I'm hoping that my teammate, teammate can get a bump. Oh, he's going across. That's totally fine. Um, yeah, that's good. So, a good pinch, but it does go right to the opponent. Go behind him here. He has to clear to the wall. And this should be Yoke. Oh. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> that almost worked. Just clear forward again. Once again, we just lose possession. So, we just got to wait. Wait it out. Bump him. Bump him. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's not good for me. Good fake. Good challenge, too. Boom it forward. I don't think he has any boost. It might just be in. Yeah. That was a good uh, defensive play for my teammate. I, I really shouldn't have popped that outside, off the sidewall because immediately there's a 1v2 opportunity or 2v1 opportunity for the opponents. Um, but there should have been a bump earlier on in that goal. That's why I was like so forced up. Oh, I'm out of boost. That's so bad for me. I thought I had 12. I, for some reason, I only had one. <laughs> so I just spurted out my boost and had nothing. That's on me. All right, it's across. See if we can get a demo, maybe. It's a good demo. Might just be in. Yeah, it's a goal. It's a good bump play. There's not much I can really do there. Pop it up. Pick up the boost. Pump him off. He's probably still going to follow, though. He's got to be a little careful. Try and flick this over. It should be okay. The teammate has to watch this corner bounce. He's got it. Nice. The last second play here. Teammates or the opponents off the ceiling. Not the touch I wanted, but it is uh, zero second here. To be down. It's all good. All right, I'm gonna see what happens with this kickoff. I'll be a little bit careful. Do my teammate to win this? Nice. And a double. Pops it up. Looks like Yokes is there. Oh, wait. That's one player out. And a flick top left. Let's go. Yeah, once I saw uh, once I saw the one player um, out of the game with the demo, I knew that he was going to spawn one side. And once I saw him spawn left, I just knew I could go for the back flick uh, to the top left. Just because he's going to expect the far right shot. And in that situation, I can go for some sort of flick that is unpredictable. And uh, the other player I did not need to worry about because he already jumped. So not not a bad series of games. We had a lot of GC3s in this one. Like a little bit of a lower lobby for some reason tonight. But um, probably just a balance where um, the dot the dot player is a much higher ranked player. Just like I am. And then we have GC3s that kind of balance out both sides. But hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely an interesting one. Uh, solo queue is a wild experience. But like I said, you can just focus on yourself. Make sure you do um, what you need to do for your teammates. It doesn't matter who you're playing with. There's always something you can be doing better. 
Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, have a great day, and I'll catch you in the next one.